All right, everybody, check it out. Today we're looking at the Lenovo IdeaPad Y570. Now, the Y570, you've probably heard it a million times. It's been around for a while, and it's not the same laptop. It keeps changing. They keep updating it with technologies, and this new one, I gotta give it to them. It's really, really nice. First of all, it looks really great. It has really powerful graphics. It has a very powerful uh, Intel Core 7 quad core. It's got a nice display. It looks great. And if you haven't seen those commercials for uh, Lenovo's uh, quick boot functionality, it does have that as well. This thing will actually boot just about 41 seconds on the second time I ever booted it up. 41 seconds, and I'm sure you can get it faster if you run their optimization software, but uh, boots up real quick. If you haven't seen it, it's a commercial. The, the guy throws it off a plane, and it basically has to boot up in less than 35 seconds or it's going to hit the ground. And basically, it boots up, runs a program, which opens the uh, disk drive, which flips the parachute up. Really cool stuff. Um, but let's jump right into it and take a look at it. I'm going to show you the back first. Kind of pretty. It's got a nice little, uh, I'm not sure what you would call this. Kind of looks like braille or some sort of finish, but it is metal. It's very pretty, and it's mostly fingerprint free, which I like. It's got an orange trim. Very, very nice. Now, this is the 15.6 inch model, hence the Y570. Uh, it is 15.6 inches, LED uh, backlit LCD display. It's 1366 across the top and 768 on the side, so it will do a native 720p. It's got the uh, AccuType keyboard. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's really cool. They've got an interesting shape. It's flat at the top, rounded at the bottom. Very nice to type on. The touchpad does have multi touch capabilities. It has very nice JBL branded speakers. Very, very nice. A couple buttons up here at the top for volume and next track and that kind of stuff. All very simple to use, but really, really nice setup. Now, let's talk a little about what's inside the computer. It's the uh, Intel Core i7-2630QM. That's a quad core, 2 gigahertz, 6 megabytes of cache, so very, very fast. It's got 6 gigabytes of DDR3 at 1333 megahertz, and it's got switchable graphics using the NVIDIA Optimus system. So if you're playing a 2D application, it's going to use the onboard graphics. But if you want to play a video game, it's going to switch to the NVIDIA GeForce GT 555M, which has got a gigabyte of GDDR5 for video memory. Very, very nice. That's a big frame buffer. You can actually game on this laptop if you so desired. Uh, six gigabytes of DDR3 that are operating at 1,333 megahertz, a 750 gigabyte hard drive, which is obviously quite huge. And then it's got Windows 7 Home Premium, 802.11, Bluetooth, 10 100, 000, et cetera, et cetera. Now, take it for a quick tour like we usually do. Starting over here on the back left side, you will see the VGA port. So if you want to hook up an external monitor, you can do so there. You can also do it with the HDMI out that's right there. That will also transfer multi-channel audio. Uh, this is the fan louver for your exhaust from your GT555M. This is your 10 100, 1000 Ethernet, in case you don't want to use the N wireless. And then right over here, you have a combo USB slash eSATA port, as well as another USB 2.0 port, and then input and output for your headsets and your microphones. Now, as you move to the front, you'll see a couple indicator lights, uh, basically for trackpad, power, battery, and then I haven't figured out what this one is. I think this is the, hard, the little device that stops the hard drive from spinning in case you drop it, which is nice. Uh, and then also down right over here, this is a multi-card reader. And then over on the right-hand side, you'll see two buttons, actually two switches, one of which is for uh, the wireless antenna, and the other one is for the Bluetooth antenna. Moving over to the right-hand side, uh, you will see two USB 3.0 ports. Now, those are blue, so you can tell the difference. Those are the super speeds, so if you want to hook up external hard drives or anything where you want to transfer information very quickly, that's going to be your best bet. You have a DVD drive. It is a, uh, a multi-DVD drive. It'll do plus R's, minus R's, RAMs, ROMs, all that good stuff. So you can burn all your optical media in case you still use that stuff. And then finally, the last two things you'll see is your uh, power port here for your power plug, for your ADC adapter, and then finally, the Kensington lock. Uh, so that's basically it. A very nice laptop. It's stayed pretty constant on the Lenovo line. They've always had it. They've kept using it, and they've just basically upgraded it with the most modern technology you can possibly have. The NVIDIA switchable graphics to save you battery power, the LED backed LCD screen, the DDR3 memory, the faster Core i7 processors, more memory, bigger hard drives. They've just kept upgrading it. So uh, a very, very nice laptop from Lenovo. Also, make sure that you check which specific model you're getting because there's more than one under the Lenovo Y570 model number. There's different ones with different memory and different CPUs and different options. So make sure you check that out. There you have it, the Y570. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me. And I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Lenovo IdeaPad Y570, type in T71-156306 into any major search engine.